Bay General Pierce. General Flynn, st- former head of defense intelligence, totally. They're pre-programming massive right-wing terror attacks. I'm looking for false flags. They are totally signaling yeah. that. What's your, what's your take on that? Yeah, I mean, so it's not just mm-hmm. these false flags. It's, stuff, it's it's what they're doing to you. It's it's a bunch of things. I mean, you're going to see you're going to see that there's a there's executive orders right now for a climate emergency that gives this president Biden warlike powers. We are already looking at what they're doing in the in the uh, in in uh, Eastern Europe. I mean, there's some there is going to be a shift in the economic system of the of the world here that this administration has bought into. That's this digital currency stuff. We we are now seeing this. Well, let me ask that question. What forth. is the announcement of? St- Stoltenberg and NATO of heavy weapons to hit Russia, which is already going on, but a huge official taking credit in the threat escalation. You are a Cold Warrior expert. What yeah. does that signify? Yeah, it's, what it signifies is that the, one of the things, and I, and I had a conversation with a, a very sharp buddy of mine this morning, that you know there's a possibility that we'll see a false flag in a NATO country in Eastern Europe that then is blamed on Russia, and that gives them... The uh, the authority then NATO it gives NATO the authority to to basically call for Article Five and start to fight back and now it's NATO against Russia and we're back to the goddamn we're, we're back to a a Cold War turn that's going to turn hot between the East and the West essentially these people will do anything that they can to stay in power they're looking for big big excuses to stay in power and to shut the shut the election down. In November, I believe that. I, I believe that more in my heart today than I ever believed it, and especially after, because I, I believed like a lot of people that I, you know I, I never did believe. I will say that I never did believe that Trump wasn't going to be found guilty of something. 